When fine-tuning a model, how much GPU memory is required? This is a question that many people are curious about. Let's take an example. Suppose we want to fine-tune a 1B parameter model. Here, 1B means a model with 1 billion parameters. If we want to fine-tune larger models, you can scale the calculations proportionally. Additionally, let's assume the model parameters are represented using 16-bit precision. Since 16 bits equal 2 bytes, we use this for the calculation. Some models may use 32-bit precision, but the logic remains the same. To calculate GPU memory requirements, we need to understand which components consume GPU memory during fine-tuning. The main components are model weights. The model itself needs to be loaded into GPU memory. The size of the model determines the memory required. Gradients. During training, gradients are computed to update model parameters. These gradients require memory. Optimizer states. Optimizer states, such as those used for momentum or adaptive learning rates, also occupy memory. The memory requirement varies depending on the optimizer used, such as SGED or Atom. Activation maps. Intermediate activations during forward passes also require memory, but their contribution is smaller compared to the above components. For simplicity, the majority of memory usage comes from model weights, gradients, and optimizer states. For model weights, a 1B parameter model, with each parameter requiring 2 bytes, results in the following memory usage. 1B parameters time, 2 bytes equals 2 GB. For gradients, the memory requirement is typically the same as for model weights. 2 gigabytes. For optimizer states, the memory requirement is usually about 4 times that of the model weights. 2 gigabytes times 4 is equal to 8 GB. Adding these components together, the total memory required is 2 gigabytes weights plus 2 gigabytes gradients plus 8 gigabytes optimizer states equals 12 gigabytes. This means the total memory requirement is roughly 6 times the size of the model weights. For larger models, you can scale this calculation proportionally. For example, for a 7B parameter model, 12 GB times 7 equals 84 GB. This would typically require two A100 GPUs, each with 40 gigabytes of memory. This approach is called full fine-tuning. In addition to full fine-tuning, another commonly used method is parameter-efficient fine-tuning, PFT. A widely recognized PFT method is LoRa, low-rank adaptation. LoRa reduces memory usage by fine-tuning only a small subset of additional parameters while keeping the original model unchanged. For example, if the original model has 1 billion parameters, LoRa fine-tunes only a fraction, such as 2% or even less. These new parameters, called adapters, are then added to the original model to create the fine-tuned model. Visually, you can think of the original model remaining unchanged, while the new adapter parameters are added on top of it. For instance, if the adapter represents 2% of the original model's parameters, the adapter is much smaller. For LoRa fine-tuning, the original model still needs to be loaded into GPU memory, but the memory required for gradients and optimizer states is much smaller because it only applies to the adapter parameters. For example, if the adapter weights are 2.5% of the original model size, Adapter weights, 2 GB times 0 0.025 equals 0 0.05 GB. Gradients and optimizer states for the adapter. 10 GB times 0 0.025 equals 0 0.25 GB. Adding these components. Model weights, 2 GB. Adapter weights, 0 0.05 GB. Gradients and optimizer states, 0.25 gigabytes. The total memory required for LoRa fine-tuning is approximately 2 gigabytes plus 0.05 gigabytes plus 
two five gigabytes equals 2.3 gigabytes. In practice, the adapter's parameter size is often even smaller than 2.5%. To further reduce memory requirements, another approach is QLORA quantized LORA. QLORA compresses the model weights using quantization techniques, reducing their memory footprint. For instance, 16-bit weights can be quantized to 8-bit or 4-bit, reducing memory usage from 2 gigabytes to 1 gigabyte or 0.5 gigabytes. With this method, memory consumption is significantly reduced. Finally, it's worth noting that the calculations presented here are basic estimates. In real-world scenarios, additional factors need to be considered. Whether to use single GPU or multi-GPU setups. Whether to train on a single node or across multiple nodes. The use of frameworks like DeepSpeed with techniques such as 02 or 03. For more precise calculations, I recommend consulting a detailed technical article linked in the comments.